Hello, my name is Garrett. I'm a technical writer on the documentation team here at cPanel, the hosting platform of choice. Today I'm going to show you the AutoSSL feature. Manage AutoSSL is a WHM interface that can automatically issue and install domain validated SSL certificates on users' domains. These certificates secure communication between the server and people who navigate to your cPanel account users' websites. Most modern websites use SSL encryption and most modern browsers will display a warning to users if the website does not use HTTPS and SSL encryption. To get started, first log into WHM. The WHM home interface will appear. Enter Manage Auto SSL in the search box, then click Manage Auto SSL. The Manage Auto SSL interface will appear. You can click Run Auto SSL for all users at the top of the interface. This will run the Auto SSL feature for all users with the feature enabled. In other words, the system will attempt to install a domain validated certificate for each domain for every cPanel account that has the Auto SSL feature enabled. So when you run Auto SSL, you attempt to secure a domain or domains with domain validated certificates. However, the system automatically runs AutoSSL, so under most circumstances, you will not need to run this. The Providers tab lists the available AutoSSL providers on your server. Select the one that you wish to use, such as the cPanel powered by Sectigo provider, or select Disabled to disable the feature for all sites on your server. We will go with cPanel powered by Sectigo. To find out more about each rating, Click, click here to view more details. This action displays a table that scores each provider by their auto SSL services and capabilities. These usability scores are measured with a star icon. Certain provider capabilities and features affect and contribute to their overall usability score. Ensure that you have selected your desired provider and then click save. You will receive a success notification. Click the Options tab to set User and Administrator Notification Settings. The Options section of the interface will appear. This interface allows you to set the notification preferences for yourself and your users. For example, if you would like your cPanel account users to receive notifications every time an SSL certificate renews, you can select the Notify the User for All Auto SSL Events and Normal Successes. Alternatively, if you would like to notify cPanel account users only when a certificate fails to secure a domain, you can select Notify the user for auto SSL certificate request failures only. This option can avoid the burden of multiple notifications to your users. You can set the same level of preference for auto SSL notifications for yourself in the Administrator Notifications section of this interface. If you find that you receive too many notifications about AutoSSL with the Notify Administrator for All AutoSSL Events and Normal Successes setting, you can select the Notify the Administrator for AutoSSL Certificate Request Failures, Warnings, and Deferrals, or Notify the Administrator for AutoSSL Certificate Request Failures Only option instead. Of course, you can always select Disable AutoSSL Administrator Notifications to cease all AutoSSL notifications. Notice how you can select different notifications for yourself, the administrator, and your users. Finally, at the bottom of the interface, you can select Allow AutoSSL to replace invalid or expiring non-AutoSSL certificates to allow AutoSSL to replace user-installed SSL certificates. This will ensure that websites do not encounter a lapse in coverage, which is a good thing. However, if the user's organization validated or extended validation certificate is about to expire in three days or fewer, AutoSSL will replace the higher rated certificate with a lower rated domain validated certificate, which is a bad thing. Extended validation and organization validated certificates, EV and OV certificates, are considered more secure than domain validated certificates. A domain validated certificate can act as an intermediate solution until you install a new EV or OV certificate. This is because people who visit a website with no certificate will receive a warning. 
It is best practice to keep your EV and OV certificates up to date and replace them sooner than three days before expiry. I'm going to deselect this option to disable it. Phew, that was a lot, but I hope it helps explain the notification settings a little better. Select your desired configurations, then click Save. You will receive a success notification. Click the Logs tab to display the AutoSSL log files. The Logs section of the interface will appear. These help you diagnose any issues with the provider, the server, or your settings. Select a log, then click View Log. The log will appear. My log contains a lot of red warnings, but yours shouldn't. You can click Refresh to ensure that the interface displays the most up-to-date logs on the server. To view a different log, select that log and then click View Log. Click the Manage Users tab to manage the AutoSSL settings for your users directly. The Manage Users section of the interface will appear. You can select the checkbox next to one or more users, or even select the checkbox at the upper left section of the interface to select none or all of the users. With the user or users selected, you can click Enable AutoSSL on selected one user, Disable AutoSSL on selected one user, or Reset AutoSSL on selected one user. I will click Disable AutoSSL on selected one user. You will receive a success notification. This forcibly overrides your settings for that user in the features list. Alternatively, you can select the Enable AutoSSL, Disable AutoSSL, or Reset to Feature List setting for each user individually. This too will forcibly override your settings for that user in the feature lists. I will select Enable AutoSSL. You will receive a success message. Finally, you can click Check Username to perform a domain check for a specific user. You will receive a notification message. The system will perform a background check and post the results in a log file. Click Pending Queue to list the details and the status of the pending AutoSSL jobs on your server. The Pending Queue section of the interface will appear. Here you can view any pending certificates for individual domains. Click the navigation controls at the top of the table to sort and search through the list. For example, you can sort by domain, website, user, request time, order item ID, and status. The request time indicates the time at which the server requested the system to provide an SSL certificate. The order item ID is a unique identifier that differentiates orders from one another. The status displays information about how close the certificate is to completion. For example, ordered or queued. If this interface is empty, then no pending certificates exist. AutoSSL will automatically renew the certificates when they approach their expiration date. Go to go.cpanel.net slash AutoSSL for more information. For more information about cPanel, your hosting platform of choice, visit our website at cPanel.com or follow us on Twitter at cPanel. If you enjoyed this video, click the cPanel icon to subscribe to our channel and view more tutorials just like this one.